Okay, so this is basically my third video on this subject, and while I have made the same types of videos before, there are some things that I haven't gotten to talk about that I do think is relevant to what you guys might want to know about as far as transferring goes, and as far as what my experience with transferring goes, less so about just transferring in general, but more so my personal experience. So maybe you guys will be able to find some sort of use out of that, and uh, yeah, I just some I want to talk about because it's relevant to me. Anyways, let's get into it. Q intro. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Javis and I'm your captain today and today I'm going to talk about the different things that affected me when I was transferring and the types of feelings I was, you know, feeling when I was going through this process. Transferring as a whole is just a stressful process because of obvious things like not knowing where you're going to end up or not knowing what your future holds. Those are very typical things and something everyone who transfers is going to experience at one point or another. If you guys want to talk about what we're talking about today, at any point in the future, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 7 30 p.m. Uh, the times may vary so follow me on Twitter right here as well and maybe my other social medias for updates on when I might have to delay or go early on a stream or maybe even delay a video if something does come up. These streams are opportunities for you guys to come and ask me questions, hang out, watch me play video games, whatever you guys want to do. We do a bunch of different stuff on these streams so come and hang out. If you guys want to know my full story about my D1 story and all of that I do have a video on that already. You can go ahead and click that right there. Yeah let's just get into the first point. Alright look, stepping into any new situation is hard and especially when you have to prove yourself at every single point in turn because nobody really knows how you play. Not only that, but especially if you're not an extrovert like I am, you might not have somebody to talk to or you might not have somebody to turn to if you need a, you know, a helping hand or whatever it may be. And in turn that kind of leads people to going down the weird path of kind of asking people for help and kind of not asking people for help. It's overall just an awkward situation. Luckily, I'm a pretty good extrovert and I'm pretty good at just inserting myself and having people help me if I really need it. I'll express myself and what I need so that I can get the help that I need. So personally, that aspect of transferring was not exactly the most difficult for me. Uh, I am pretty good at making new friends and being able to express myself and talk to new people. But just know for a lot of people, that's not the easiest thing to do. Like for example, when I went to my D2 college on the East Coast, I ended up making a lot of friends pretty quick, even though I was brand new there and I did not know a single person at the school. I mean, I was 3,000 miles away from home. I was on the west coast going to the east coast and absolutely no one knew me. But within the first like two days, I was able to make a bunch of friends and a few of them I even still talk to to this day. So I'm very grateful for that. I think one of the best things about transferring that a lot of people kind of underestimate and don't think about is the experience of transferring. And while it may be stressful, you get the experience of meeting new people and getting in contact with all these different people that you might not have before. And you meet a lot of cool people that you might not have thought you would ever meet in your life. Now, getting into the stuff that's kind of not the best thing about transferring is talking to the NCAA and kind of working around all of the eligibility questions and all of that when it comes to transferring, entering the transfer portal. When I was transferring personally, there was not the transfer portal. So I actually did have to end up sitting out a year when I moved to Portland State or when I transferred to Portland State rather. But even with the transfer portal nowadays, it's not the easiest process and you really don't know your situation until you talk to compliance and compliance are the people that deal with all of the eligibility issues and all of that. And ultimately going through through compliance, talking with the NCAA, sending in waivers, all that can be really, really tiring and exhausting if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And it might actually drain you of your energy to continue playing or just to continue fighting for your eligibility in the long run. I actually experienced something like this when I was trying to get eligible to play immediately at Portland State. When I was trying to get eligible, after it didn't work for like the first month and a half and the NCAA just hadn't responded to any of the waivers I had sent out requesting for immediate eligibility, I did get a little bit, you know, put down and not wanting to really continue with the whole eligibility thing and just take comfort in being able to be on the team and train and look forward to the next year. But that didn't stop me from continuing trying even though it did not end up working out, unfortunately of course. Alright, so believe you me, one of the worst things about transferring by far is having to talk to your coaches, especially if, you know, you have to. Because <laughs> for a lot of people, they just up and leave and that's just kind of the situation with them, I guess. But for a lot of people, like I said, they just go through compliance being the people who deal with eligibility and whether you transfer or not. A lot of times compliance will tell you to go to your coach and tell them that you are transferring and 
believe me, that is one of the hardest conversations to have. Now, if you guys have seen my D1 story, you know my coach left before I actually ended up transferring. Now, one of the most awkward conversations I've personally ever had was having the new coach who was the coach for the school that I had left call me when I was already at my different school after I told them I was transferring, got all my stuff situated and moved over. It was all done and done. There was no reason to uh, even question whether I was still not eligible or not. But they ended up calling me and asking me where I was and why I hadn't shown up to meetings, I'm just like, oh. It's a really difficult conversation to have and it can be gut-wrenching, especially when they decide to ask you why you're leaving and then you have to come up with actual reasons of why you're leaving or worse, maybe even try lying. I'm not sure why you would do that. You'd just be straight up, but ultimately you wanna try and be prepared with having that conversation with your coach because it's honestly one of the most exhausting and like I said, gut-wrenching experiences that you can have during your young life up until this point, of course. Overall, transferring can be really beneficial to your mental health especially if the school is not particularly the right fit for you. But just hold on right there. I would not say that if you don't get the starting spot or something like that, you immediately transfer. I'm actually of the opposite mindset as far as wanting to actually earn your spot and make sure that you are working hard for that spot that you're trying to earn instead of just transferring out the minute that you don't think you're going to play. But on the other side of the coin, I do have to acknowledge that if it's clear that you're not going to play, especially if there is someone in the same class as you, maybe someone younger than you, or you don't want just another year to play on your own as soon as the senior you're ahead of you leaves then maybe transferring is something that you can think about let me know what you guys think of what i said today and what you guys think about the whole transferring process down below in the comments and hit me up on my live streams on monday wednesday friday 7 30 p.m on twitch and i do stream on youtube too but I, I would prefer if you guys move to twitch it's just a better platform for live streaming in my opinion and eventually i will be exclusive to only streaming on twitch if you guys enjoyed today's video please leave a like i'd really appreciate it and if you guys want to see more from me hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell right next to it you guys know what it does by now get all those notifications that you want so badly from me and yeah my name is javison i'll see you guys on the next one just dome they're right on us now octane just jump at it up octane's cracked we got this money see? baby money nice. baby money baby yes sir nice <laughs> I said we got it. I said we got it.